Okay, so today we are solving equations graphically. So we're just using the calculators today. Um, when we're finding a solution to a polynomial, it can either be called a zero root or solution. All of those things mean the same thing. It's where it's crossing the x-axis. Um, and then I have the steps written out in here for what to do. So what we always want to make sure is our equation either equals y or 0, which on number 1, it equals y. So what I want to go to do first is I want to go to y equals. I want to clear out any functions that are already there, and I want to type in the function that I have. Once I type that in, I want to go graph it, so I'm going to press the graph button. Okay, then what I want to do is, if I'm finding the zeros, I'm finding where it's crossing the x-axis, I want to go to second, trace. And I'm looking for zeros, so I want choice two. What I want to do is I want to arrow over to the left side of my zero, so I'm going to start off with the one on the left side. I'm going to press enter, and then I want to arrow over to the right side of the zero. I should cross the x-axis. I press enter, I press enter again, and then it gives me this value, which is negative two. So one of my zeros is x equals negative two. And then I want to go ahead and do the same thing for my other zero. So I'm going to go second, trace, and I'm going to go to zero again. This time I want to be on the left side of the other zero. So this is the left side. Then I arrow over to the right. I press enter twice. And this one is three. Yeah? Did you do trace or zero? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. You didn't cross the x axis then. No. Uh huh. Okay. So, same thing for number two. Wait, can you no. explain how we do it on the calculator? I'm going to do it on number two. Okay, so number two, it already equals zero. So I just want to type in the part that doesn't equal zero. So I'm going to do 2x squared minus 3x minus 2. Oops, I did not clear this out. <laughs> okay, so once I type in my equation, I want to go graph it. It's because your window's messed up. If you go window and then choice six, I think, fixes it. Pause. Oh, I'm, I wasn't doing anything. Okay. This one's already set equal to zero, but if it, if it wasn't, I would. Um, so then what I want to do is I'm going to go second trace. I want to find zero, so I'm going to choose choice two. I want to arrow over to the left side of this zero. So I'm above the x-axis right here. I press enter. I want to arrow over to the right side. I need to cross that x-axis. So I press enter twice, and then it gives me negative 0.5. Then you didn't cross the x-axis. Okay, so then I want to go ahead and do the same thing for my second zero. So I'm going to go second trace. I want to find my zero. So I'm going to arrow over. So I'm on the left side. I press enter. I arrow to the right. I press enter twice. And this one is just two. Okay. 
on the left side of the zero. I'm over here on the, oops, that's not very good. Like, I just want to be on the left, and then I arrow over so I'm on the right. Yes. The calculator gave it to me. So, I went second trace, zero. I want my black flashing dot on the left side of this zero. That is on the left side, right? So I press enter, then I arrow over, I have to cross the x-axis, guys, I have to cross the x-axis, and then I'm on the right side, I press enter twice. Left is always this side. Oh, I have to be left on the <laughs> yeah. right side too? Yeah. Oh. This, and then to the right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Questions on number two. What? Are you pressing second trace? Okay. Should I go from the x-axis? Maybe we should write. The steps are right up above. Why are they giving me an arrow? Because you're not crossing the x-axis. But I did cross the x-axis. Then you're doing it right to left. Left is this side, right is this side. Okay, I'm going to work on number three. So number three doesn't equal zero. I want to start it off by making it equal zero. I'm going to subtract 5x on both sides, which is going to give me x squared minus 5x plus 3. Now that it equals 0, I want to go ahead and type it into the y equals. Okay, so now I'm going to go do second trace. 0. I want to be on the left side of my first 0, so I press enter. Then I want to be on the right side. I press enter twice. This is giving me 0.697. It says to round to two decimal places. So this is going to be 0 0.70. Then I want to do the same thing for my second 0. I'm going to go second trace, choice 2. Left means left. I don't want the higher point, I want the si point on the left. So right here, I'm on the left, where my black flashing dot is. I press enter, and then I arrow over, I cross the x-axis, and then I press right, I mean enter, on the right side. So this one is 4.30. Questions here. Okay, so, guys. The next thing that we are going to do is when I have two equations and I want to find where they're crossing, I can again use the calculator. Same thing as before, I need it to either be y equals or 0 equals. So on both of these equations, I want to solve for y first. So on this first one, I'm going to start by subtracting 2x. It's going to give me negative y equals negative 2x minus 2. I can move the two over, but that's not getting the y alone. I want y alone. I'm going to show you. Oh, you do it two times. Then I want to divide by negative 3 on all of my pieces. Then that gets me y equals positive 2 thirds x uh, plus 2 thirds. Okay. 
Then I want to do the same thing for number 7. So I'm going to subtract, I mean number 7, for the second equation. So I want to subtract 4x on the other side. This is going to give me negative y equals negative 4x plus 6. So then I want to get rid of that negative, so I'm going to divide everything by negative 1, which gets me y equals positive 4x minus 6. So once I have my two equations, I want to go type these into the calculator. So I'm going to go back to y equals, clear out any equations there, type these two in. Okay, once I type these in, I want to go graph them. Okay, so on this one, I'm looking for where they are intersecting. So when I go second trace, I want the intersect option, which is number five. And then this time it's asking for my first curve, so I want to pick my first line, which here is the blue one. Then it wants the second one, which is the red one. And then I guess, so I just press enter again. It gives me my intersection as 2, 2. Whenever I'm giving an intersection, it's a coordinate point. Yes. Yeah. Second choice, choice five, enter three times. Number eight, same thing. I'm going to type these in. So then I graph my two equations. Okay. So this one's only crossing once, but if it was crossing twice, I just do the same thing twice and then make sure my black points were closer to the points where it's crossing. So I'm going to go second trace, choice five. I pick my first line, my second line, and then enter. And this one is negative one, zero. Questions here? I thought this one did, 